My name is Adam with eLearning Brothers. I'm going to talk to you today about how to put an HTML5 in interaction, created in this case using a, our interaction builder, into your Articulate Storyline course. So you come out to the interaction builder, and here you can see I have a course already created and saved. I'm going to go out and edit it just so that you can see that process. I go in and I can pick one of the steps and preview it. Uh, preview it, make sure, okay, the changes I made before are working. Good. And then I'm going to publish it. And you go to download, and then you choose the HTML5 option on the left, not the Lectora option. And then that puts it into your downloads folder, or into whatever folder you specified for your downloads. I go open it in the folder, and I'm going to find it, and then unzip it, make sure it's the zip file, then I'm going to go out there and I need to think about where I need to put this. And so I, in this case, I'm going to unzip it right to a web server. Um, you'd normally extract it and then, um, and then FTP it up, but because I have a local um, device working as a web server, I'm going to put it right there. So I'm going to put it in my www directory. I'm going to give it a name create a new folder for it just to be sure called sales and then we'll go ahead and extract it and click extract and let it run it run takes a few minutes to to run and now I can go out and close that window now I need to go get the URL and so I'm going to go out to that web server make sure it's running test it in the web server okay it's running so now I go grab this URL and I'm going to copy it, and then I need to hang on to that for later because I will need that in just a minute as I'm creating this interaction. Then I come into Storyline, and I've already got this created, so I'm going to delete that slide. have my title slide there, my countdown slide. Now I'm going to create a new slide, a new blank slide. Go in and I create it. And now I'm going to put in a web object. And I've, here's where I put the URL in. I just delete what's there and put it in and click OK. And that puts the web object right on the slide. And now I can't preview it because a web object needs a server to run. And so I'm just going to publish it and go test it that way. So I'm going to publish it again right to the web server. In this case, in your case, you'd probably publish it to your local desktop and then FTP it up to the server. Um, but just for speed, I'm going to publish it this way. So I'm going to put it right in my web server and we select the folder I want it to go to. I click select folder and I publish it and it takes a minute to go. Make sure all my HTML5 options are checked and there we go. And then it's done. I can just close that and now I'll go start up my web server. I can find it. The sales call process storyline output start my sales.html and it works. There's my slide we're running and there's my interaction. And you can play with the size a little bit to get it um, the, this skin is a little bit big for the or uh, so it covers a little bit of real estate but with adjusting the skins and the size of the web object and so forth you can get it to work. So a little bit of back and forth. and So that's really all it is and it's, it just becomes a web object that you put into your storyline course.